okay, now, yep. now, I, now I just want to see Voltron on a magic squad because that was like another PBS show. Wait, Voltron was not on PBS, then. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that gives us the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Hey, we're still alive, three of us. Uh, Jordan's a little. He, he shrunk, unfortunately, but. What's happening? Tiny Jordan. Jordan. Tiny Jordan. My Tiny Jordan. Uh, speaking of Tiny Jordan, I'm um, Tiny Vin, Tiny Vin Stone, and that is uh, Microscopic Pedro Mateus over there. I am the tiniest. Oh, I'm the most tiny. The three eyed tiny man. And Pew, to go Pedro. Shot room dynamic, helping us form tiny cocaine Voltron. He's like a little bump, bump Voltron, man. <laughs> Flesh powder, a little, a little bump of Voltron. <laughs> no, it, it, the, the age no, of Voltron. It, no, it, it is one hundred percent that episode of Voltron where they have to like shrink Voltron down and magic school bust into like someone to, I don't know, cure cancer. Um, I okay now yep. now, I, now I just want to see Voltron on a magic squad because that was like another PBS show. Wait, Voltron was not on PBS. Then anyway, I a boy can dream, man. A boy can dream. No, I, I don't know what PBS you're watching. <laughs> the good one. Apparently. I think you might have been watching PBR. <laughs> no, no, it, it, was a, it was a station out of Florida. Oh, yeah, see, right? that, that makes sense. <laughs> Let's throw that qualifier on there. So how's everybody holding up, man? I, I know between the three of us, like, oh, no, we have to stay at home and be quarantined. Like, and? Pedro? I have I, to go to work on Monday. Mm. So there's that. But they, more interestingly, uh, today I got to watch Norius like, I want to play Dark Souls. Like, okay. So she started uh, Dark Souls rematch. She's like, no, 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 I want to play the new ones. Like, okay, Dark Souls three it is then. Uh, and she started it, and she spent like forty minutes creating a character. It's like, eh, I'm not happy with it. She saved it to the favorites, and then quit out of it. It's like, mad respect. I was <laughs> that. I, I got respect for anybody who, because man, like my Skyrim character, or anything that I have like that is just straight up whatever default fugly it is. In the let's get into the game. Default, go. Yeah, exactly. I try to, I, I try to make him as like ugly and distorted as possible. One, one, once upon a try, time, I tried to make once him hot. Try, then I, once upon yes. a time, I tried to make him hot. <laughs> try to make him look like Zoya the thief. Okay. But um, yeah, it turns out I'm not good at designing hot people, so I just make him ugly. Oh. But I tried to make several of the characters that I play on in online games look like me. They look sort of like me, like a really idealized hot version of me. Yeah. Too easy. <laughs> uh, Jordan, how's Toronto <laughs> holding up, man? I mean, Tor Toronto's holding up. I spent I spent Monday vomiting, mm. Tuesday and Wednesday shitting. And Thursday, Thursday I was okay. So, so anything new? <laughs> uh, Business well, as usual. App app apparently, I, I lost quite a bit of water weight. Okay. Um, now uh, I've I've been stuck working at home. I have this MacBook, which is like the early early 2015 MacBook. Oh man, that's uh, got a small screen on it, doesn't it? It does, and oh. I'm stuck working on it because no, you I plug, it's a Mac. You just plug in one of your monitors. Any monitor right, works. I <laughs> yeah, I, I, I plugged in my dis mini display port to HDMI, uh -huh. plugged it into the, the HDMI on both of these monitors, didn't pick it up. Ah, you so, see, that's your problem. That's when you got to go from that to Firewire to Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 to back to mini USB-C. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't have time to wait for the Amazon the delivery The only person. thing between you is like $400 worth of adapters. Apple's got you, bro. Yep, they, to they, to they totally do. So I've, I've been stuck doing work on a 1650 by, mm. or a 1680 by 1050 monitor little 13 inch one and when you have to like refer back and forth to like terminals and documentation and logs and it's not fun it's <clears throat> not fun man not much has changed here most people seem very nonplussed i've went uh what would you call it just like gawking like oh let's see if there's going to be some of these groceries that are like torn up nothing like oh they're, they're slightly low on pasta that was about it uh i did kudos to loctite Makers of gel super glue. Um, I am touchscreen proof with these three fingers, man. Like, <laughs> it is useless. You can do no capacitive, uh, none whatsoever. And I've even taken like a file to it to try to get this off because I got some of the um, gel glue when I was working on like finally fixing this guy properly. And I, it just like leaked out. And I was like, 
hmm, just did that reflex. I was like, that that's some pretty weak super glue. It's not even sticking <laughs> the, the gel thing. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. I just, man, I just have a perfect coat, like <laughs> micron thick. Like, lovely, lovely. This is great. So I've, I'm switching the show using a pinky. It's kind of hot. It's, it, it's super classy, right? You got you to gotta keep the pinky <laughs> yeah. up. Mm, it's great to poke a hole through the tablet, man. Uh, outside of that, I'm not going to pour one out for Mr. Mackey, but man, that thing is... If you, Have either of you, or maybe somebody at home, know what I'm talking about with you know, a 10, 20-year-old piece of electronics, usually a lot of times with audio stuff, like an old amp or something like that, that the longer it's on after it's hibernation, new issues show up. Mm -hmm. It's starting to get more squirrely. So um, I think we're still going to be able to use it for what I want, because I really only need like two buttons in the jog dial. And But I still haven't figured out how to fix that fader. Not that I even plan on using the faders on that. We have um, the X-Touch compat, but I might just break down and buy that X-Touch one, man. But I, I, I'm going to give it a try, man, because... Okay, here's a. I feel like I bought another Porsche 944. It's like this will never work right, and there's always going to be a new issue popping up with it. A money trap, sunk cost fallacy. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but I don't really have it with this because it was like eighty bucks. But I was like, man, I could put another two hundred in this and have it. No, like, yes, yeah. <laughs> See, that's that's yeah. the sunk cost fallacy. Oh man, <laughs> oh. four five hundred dollars later, and you're like. No, I can salvage it. I could save it. Yeah. <laughs> it I, may work. I, I could straight up take the um, eight working faders out of it and sell them for 200 bucks on eBay all day long. But I'm not going to do that, man. Because that would not be what the horse would do. I mean, the horse just fades in and out. No, on hang own. on. I had the wrong thing. Pinky. My bad. <laughs> Pinky. <laughs> man, man now, now the horse is giving you a bit of a stinky pinky. It's oh. the same. Update of the week. Oh my god. Co COVID-19, the coronavirus, is just destroying businesses as it Steam is. breaks 20 million mm -hmm. concurrent users <laughs> on Monday. Well, that number is going up because everyone's stuck at home. No one, no yep. one's doing stuff. No one's going out to go hang out with friends, do work. Nope, they're just staying at home playing Doom. Mm. Doom and yeah, Neo and, and Am. As it turns well, out, if people well, clearly, stay home, no, they on, play I mean, more video games. As Jordan reported earlier this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, right? earlier, like five seconds ago. <laughs> Te hey, that's technically earlier in the week. Technically, I'll take it. Right? Thank you for quoting the article from GamesRadar.com. <laughs> Links to all of this in our show notes. Salty brought up a good point. And we were talking about that in the pre-pre super shows. And um, it's like 22 million now. It's just it's yeah. going to get worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because and by worse i mean it's it's, it's gonna get slower steam is uh it's it's been i haven't seen it down what was that day before yesterday it got squirrely for like 45 minutes here on oh. the east coast but well, well even like discord and like uh, and zoom they're they're slowing down some companies are trying to like find alternative methods like i've, I've seen some people like use roll 20 for their online meetings because it has a whiteboard <laughs> in it <laughs> that could work. I saw a good thing on um, Reddit. Somebody was like, uh, yo, quit pl gaming so much to give the uh, internet a break. Just watch some Netflix. And someone had to break that logic. To him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? Bad with. <laughs> so it's only going to get worse. But we do have a new beta client to play with. We absolutely do. There's a brand new client that came out on March 19. Why don't I have this link open? It's because my browser's an idiot. Um, yeah, so they fixed some layout regressions in the library. Uh, there's some muted audio stuff that was happening during RDP sessions. I think that's mostly a Windows issue for remote play. Yes. And uh, there's a brand new Steam runtime update. Uh, 02, 0.2020003.18.1. Colon. Yes, 2020-03-18. What is <laughs> in it? We don't know. But uh, there, there's some new version of Vulcan uh, that's um, that's uh, shipped as well. It's exporting some WSI functions when... for uh, Proton. It usually always just works, but uh, have you ever had any like really negative experiences with 
and can update with the runtimes or with Vulcan. It's like, everything seems to work all right. Fun. Not with Vulcan specifically, but I've had the, like, an update to the runtime just stop games from working, but that was before the whole prefer system libraries thing was yeah, uh, the, in place. Uh, because I, I think Mesa sort of drivers. That. Yeah, okay. the Mesa drivers and the Jillibc version that is included in the runtime, they don't like each other very much. So the yeah. one thing I want to throw out, Jordan, you run XFC. Do do you ever notice like when it does an update that you have to double tap that Steam button after it does an update yes. to get it? Okay, all right. Yeah, that that must be an XFC Compton thing. I I I, th I think that is. Yeah. yeah. It comes. Yeah, because because in GNOME on my laptop, it just does it automatically. So mm. that is Same a here. thing. Introducing the Steam Interactive Recommendotron. Yeah. Thing. So, uh, continuing the trend of Steam Labs that have uh, graduated into actual things, the Interactive Recommender is no longer a lab, so to speak. It is now uh, an actual feature of the Linux store. And if you click on it, it'll go... And supposedly, it will go through your library and figure out what what it is that you've been playing, how many hours you've put into those kinds of games, and it will give you game recommendations based on that. So I clicked on it, it's like, oh, look, it's my wish list with some occasional MMO slash online games uh, peppered in that require easy anti-cheat. It's like, yes, I, I know that I probably would enjoy those games, but I can't play them. Hmm. How about... Instead of interactive recommenders, you let me play them games. Hmm? I Steam? had to take the Pepsi Valve? challenge with this. And <laughs> I, it, it showed me a bunch of games that, to its credit, I was like, oh, yeah, I kind of want to. But it didn't show me anything I wasn't aware of. Because, wish list or not, I'm not paying 60 quid for Code Vein. Not happening. Yeah, well, you, you you don't want thirsty anime vampires. Nope, they're waiting for you, then. <laughs> that was no man. No, I'm good. But to its credit, I mean, it was better than previous attempts of this mm -hmm. game. Have you thought about playing this? And I'm like, no, that's Teddy Floppy. Or of course, I've thought about playing it. Don't be silly. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't like the discovery, like the new game hidden yeah. gem type of thing. This is. Games that, based on what you've played, the games that you are most likely to enjoy playing. And yeah, no, kudos for nailing it, but uh, it feels kind of cheating if you're just going to show me my wish list. Well, okay, you got to... <laughs> Where are you at, Jordan? Probably a lot, like... Um, lot, lots, I, I, lots of turn-based stuff, lots of RPGs. Yeah. Even that. Uh, more to the point, do you even pay attention to stuff like this? I don't usually, but again, I'm... Through through this, I get exposed to most of the games that I'm going to be interested in through anyways. Right. So a lot yeah. a lot of that preempts <laughs> the marketing that Steam will do for the game because mm. I'm aware of it before they start. So the marketing none at all. Blitz. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and with a good marketing, we do pay attention to a lot more games these days simply because we have this new play button with Proton that allows us yep. to tango with most <laughs> Windows Wild titles. West mode enabled on all the things. And uh, this new version, it is 5.0-5. And they fixed the crash with some games that uh, they introduced in uh, uh, Proton 5.0-4. I've been running into that with um, like the uh, Ninja Gaiden or what, 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 that Ninja game that looked like Borderlands 3. It had an mm. issue that we're one launch and I just... But fortunately... All right, all right, no, no, no. This is um. It's you, Ninja Gaiden, a, the new one. Yeah. Oh, okay. it, it's Borderlands Ninja game, um, hundred <laughs> percent. But it worked with the previous version. One of the good things about Proton is it keeps you loaded with usually a three version and a four version, and I think a five version. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it it maintains like all the major revisions that they have, and um, on top of that, they also fix some networking error in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Uh, for those of you that didn't watch the anime, it's strategy. Uh, the support for the latest OpenVR SDKs has also been introduced, and they've added support for new Vulcan extensions by some recent titles. Mm. You can just read that entirely. It's like, oh, uh, Doom Eternal is uh, already improving Proton support. Well, I, I, th Something I think... Something good uh, came I, out of that game. <laughs> I think part of that, too, is that they added a bunch of the WSI call support uh, in the latest Steam beta... Or in the Steam runtime release, anyways. So there's uh, there's that. 
Uh, so I think that's also being uh, handled through it. Yeah, the latest I, Doom, uh, the the latest Vulcan game to come out was Doom Eternal. So I'm gonna blame it on that. <laughs> we yeah. will see. Maybe regular, ordinary vanilla Proton. It's just not your jam, baby. That doesn't really do it for you anymore. And you need something a bit more experimental. You need something glorious. A bit more <laughs> egg flavored. Yeah. Mm. And that comes in the form of Proton 54 GE. It does not bring good things to life. Nay, it is a glorious egg roll dash one. Gang of fixes in this. Uh, Proton 504 has been imported. We have wine staging. It's been updated to 5.4. VK 3D is updated. Uh, controller fix for Warframe. I played that. I played as well enough. This is not my jam. More Metro Exodus VK D 3D fixes. And. Um, other stuff I don't really pay attention to. MK11 has ahead. been broken. Okay, there's some known issue. Borderlands 3 does not work with a VK D3D yet. Womp womp. Oh! Yes. Okay, you might have watched. I streamed um, Resident Evil the 3 remake, Raccoon City Part 3, X2, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Too Zombie, Too Furious. Out of the box, it launched with the latest version of Proton. And it was struggling, man. You know, and it's like, oh, we're not going to be able to play this because it was running 23, 26. So I went into settings. It was doing that at 3840 by 2160 with DX12. Mm. So I went from O oh, to... Very good. Then oh, very I good. cut it on DX11 <laughs> and proceeded to play it. But good on that. Do you, uh, either of you use um, G... I don't. Um, most of the mo mo most of, most of the stuff I play through Proton's already pretty old, mm -hmm. so it, it, it's, I, it's already covered by <laughs> Vanilla Wine. Yeah. What do you got, Pedro? I do because it's uh, that thing you brought up in the notes. Uh, the Need for Speed World patch has been added to the uh, glorious Egg Roll build of Proton. Mm -hmm. Which is awesome because it was one of the things I was shouting at the uh, uh, developer of the like the launcher for the community of remake of um, Need for Speed World, which I played on Tuesday. You can go watch the uh, the vod you once it's good, up on you, YouTube. Pedro has this one track that he knows very well, and he just sits there. And I have for, several. <laughs> Pedro has this one track that he knows very well, and he just sits there and waits. He's like, "Come to me." He's like, Caught a fly, then he runs through all the shortcuts. <laughs> the the entire fair, time, I do being, like beating to people his credit, with to his credit, the, he's very self deprecating sorry, as he's like 40 meters in front of everyone, just smoking them up. He's like, Well, I'm gonna lose any moment now. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute, that's usually before the race starts. But no, I'm glad that the uh developer that created that, uh, because one of the issues was that, um, Wine itself was causing the game to freeze if you enabled the chat. So uh, he created the patch that removed a couple of checks from Wine, and it just says, okay, if it works, just do it. If not, just don't do anything. Mm. Because the checks that it was doing, like the error checking, were the cause of the um, the freezing. So he he just cloned the, uh, the Wine repo and did the changes publicly, and... Glorious egg roll. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm currently running the game through Lutris using uh, G 5.4, which is awesome. Mm. Jordan, actually, they, they, go ahead. They do call out Lutris in the patch notes too. Yeah. Apparently, uh, now yep. because of the VK D3D update, uh, you can play WoW in uh, Lutris now. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Stay away from that, people. <laughs> but yeah. let's run right into the game awards. But the good kind, maybe. I don't know. This is from December, so I got I got I got confused. But like, yeah, there. I, I think I think we may have missed it. There, oh there were no, a bunch no. Of this is the. Uh, oh, I got the wrong link. This is the free, whatever the free free demos. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how the wrong link. Yeah, there's there. a bunch of free stuff on Steam right now. <laughs> Give me yeah. a minute, and we'll find the right thing. I mean, feel free to. Do, do. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> so there, there, there's uh, there's a couple games that are available for free, I guess. It was the GDC. Uh, here it is. I found it. Ta-da! Ta-da! Spring edition. <laughs> we can watch developers play. Yeah, see, um, so you can play. Well, I guess Fil Filament has a Linux version. And a couple that's... of them do. <laughs> But oh, right. no, uh, Animal Day of the Devs. This is yeah. We had Carrion. We saw that one pop up. Um, yep. 
for a minute Devolver Digital. And uh, some of these, like, you can play them for free until the 14th of next month. Some of them you can't, and mm. other ones don't work. It, it was very, very confusing. But yeah, yeah that's I mean, it's, it's, it's a good opportunity to try out some new games, see if they work in Proton, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> this is true. So yep. that, that's the thing. I understand why Valve did it because, you know, that we didn't get like all the game expos are probably canceled for forever now. Forever. <laughs> because <laughs> For the foreseeable future anyway. You, you because gotta, of Los Plagos. You got to think about all the larger companies that just go because everyone else is going and they're like, wait a minute, we're mm-hmm. still selling these. <laughs> like, why, why are we wasting this money? So then that, oh. it's kind of bad times for everyone. But we do have a good idea for Steam, though. Yeah, uh, well, one one that they implemented. Uh, now mm-hmm. reviews will show you if you have refunded the game or not. Uh, and I mean, it's it's pretty good move on Steam's part. It gives a little bit more credence to the user review system, where you can know more about the user behavior. Well, I mean, sort of, kind of, because there are a lot of situations where you can purchase a game for Steam and not be able to refund it. So mm-hmm. you mean at like the, at the, any at situation very- where you did not buy the game directly from Steam? Yes, yes. Those? Which, is pre- yes. which is pretty common. <laughs> um, but yeah, humble that, that, looking at you. <laughs> that said, though, this this will hopefully put a kibosh to like the the whole uh, validity of like play two thousand hours. It's okay, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Seventeen hundred hours. And be like, man, eh, it's not fun. Don't play it. But I didn't refund it. I'm just saying that because I ran into a spot that I was like, oh, I want this fixed, and the developer told me to die in a fire, and I'm angry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I I very much like the uh, the whole name and shame, and it works for both developers and players. Uh, dev- uh, players will get called out if they leave a bullshit review. It's like, oh, you're saying all these things about the game, but you didn't refund it despite you having played less than two hours. So what's up with that? And for the developers, it's a public and constant reminder of just how many people left a review and refunded their game it's right there on the store page it's like <laughs> i do believe that it's a little bit of a limited use though because to come back to you can't um refund even if it's been gifted to you yeah you can refund if it's gifted to you through steam and you've played less than two hours yes so, the, the, the other qualifiers still apply yes <laughs> that just doesn't work with like rocket league yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you played more than two hours of that. Like three and a half max. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All, all, Plus although, the other ninety on top of that. <laughs> all, although, if 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 I wanna if I wanna emplace my tinfoil hat on my head, okay. Um, I I would say like Valve or uh, Valve probably provided uh, the devs an ability to filter by people who have re- reviews by people who have refunded. And it's good so, for them because they can read through and be like, okay, who hated this enough to? Well. I, well, I was going to be like, well, let's ignore all these people and focus only on the people who are <laughs> giving us two types reviews. of developers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, pro tip. Let's make this happen. Yeah. Th- see, th- this yeah. this is an idea that Steam should Im- implement. This is from a Reddit thread uh, on our Steam from Stealthman13. He's the stealthiest of the 13 men. Uh, but uh, he's, he's saying that early access games should have a last updated. Do you think updated- maybe he could have been like the 14th warrior, but no one knew? No, I think the, the previous twelve weren't as stealthy. <laughs> well, no, we we we. Well, see, he's the worst one because we can't see where the previous twelve stealthy men are. Yes. Oh, yeah. He, 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 I see how he's, that he, goes. He, 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 he's the bad one, but he's saying, yeah. Um, early access games should have a last updated uh, label. And you know what? Uh, Ven, I had I had the same thought as you. Why not just check the last updated news thing? But lots of games don't use that functionality. Lots of developers yes. don't. I so also it, believe it, it, that that should be. No, we're, we're throwing a lot of faith in humanity. I understand what I'm saying because like that's usually a very good indicator. If like there's no news updates, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, but the, the, those those also don't correlate with like um, those also don't correlate with actual updates. So it would it would it would be nice to be able to say like, hey, this game was busted. When was it last updated? Should I give it another chance? Versus mm-hmm. like, hey, this game has been left alone to rot on the Steam store for five years. Well, Maybe I Jordan, should give it a pass. don't you know you can just take the game ID and go to steamdb.info and you can look it up that way if you go from last. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a lazy update. piece of shit. Where's my clicky option? I'm just, I'm just saying, well, actually. Well, actually. <laughs> well, actually, fuck you. Right. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, can we have this not just for early access games, but for all of them? No. It would. That, it it be could possibly I, cut I, down I on refunds liked. by people who are just captainly oblivious to like what this yes. thing doesn't work <laughs> and why not? Oh, look, there's been no activity in the forums for five years. Hundred percent on that. But you know, just having a last updated somewhere on every yes. page, like mm -hmm. in the description, you know, with like publisher, developer, whatever, last updated. That'd be great. This game would, was last updated. Date. No. I, I would I would actually like to see uh, Valve expose sort of like when the devs push and you build to the to a, a given branch. Like mm -hmm. you you can see like last updated on X, so you can see if uh, something has been fixed or not. I don't know. It seems like it would be useful information to have as as a consumer. It would, but yes, I, and I it's think it would be happen. well. I think it'd be good for <laughs> Valve because it's definitely it would definitely cut back on the processing charges of refunds. Look, there's your business case. Take it to game. Mm -hmm. Done. Uh, top releases, 2020. Well, February, February 2020. Nope, all of <laughs> well, 2020. I, 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 I guess all technically, yes, all of, 20, all of 2020 this is so it. far. This is, don't you watch the news? We're about to go full metal Mad Max, baby, so we got to get it in. Oh, yeah. While we can, man. This is the February top releases. Big month for early access. Uh, you saw a couple things. Uh, the big one I saw that I realized was Murder Simulator, which... Somewhere in here, isn't it? Yeah, Besiege. Besiege. Yep. I'm down with that. And uh, it's always good to see some Linux titles. What else was in here that you saw? Yeah, uh, Death and Taxes, Stone okay. Shard, School, and Scourgebringer. It's a lot of S's. Yeah. Uh, they, they all have native Linux versions, so you should totally go give them a look and see if they're your cup of tea. Ooh, yeah, I'm very sure that business. Max uh, Gentleman's played... sexy business mm -hmm. is not available on Linux. Oh. Nor is the one, pun no. nor is the One Punch Man fighting game. Where actually, actually, the uh, I, I saw I saw some footage of that, and the One Punch Man fighting game actually has an interesting mechanic. Where if you play as One Punch Man, it's a team fighter normally. You get two people instead of three, and he's on a timer, so you have to dodge until your meter fills up, and then you just win. So. Yep. <laughs> Tank mechanic. That's so oddly Pacific. Um, and there's a, a couple of the well, usual. It, 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 uh, it's, it's, porny it's a better games, love. So it's uh, from a Polish games, developer too. Which <laughs> I was gonna say, it's a better love story than that game where you actually have to date tanks. True. Pan, I think it's like Panzer <laughs> Panzer Girls or something. Oh, yeah. dude, that yes. uh, Girls und Panzer is an anime. <laughs> yeah, no, Pedro, they're, 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 it's not they're, a they're dating just... anime <laughs> Pedro we heard your horrible justification for its existence last time we're trying to block it out let's not undo that therapy that money has been spent right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well I, I suppose continuing on from last week uh, there was an update to the development branch of Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition and well uh, that particular development branch is now the gold client if you download uh, or you update Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition on Steam, you get the newest version. And it uh, there's a couple, of, like the fixes that we talked about uh, last week, they're here now. It's uh, patch version 1.80, and it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, obviously. They've uh, changed a couple of things into the, like, the 2DA files of the game, which control... Basically, how all the mechanics, uh, all of the uh, D and D mechanics play with each other. It's the two DA files, and uh, they changed how you can. It's basically a balance tweak to make sure that everything that they're going to I implement just in the like future do a super works. Super cut of that and just flash up nerd noises. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I I was going to launch into full on nerd mode, and I was just like, no, stop. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I was reaching for that mute button, but I gave you the benefit of the doubt, and I'm glad I did. You pulled through. <laughs> but yeah, no, and uh, this came just in time for the new DLC slash premium mod that they're going to be releasing. It's called Dark Dreams of Fury, or Fury. Or However you want to say that. Fury. Fury. Yeah, yeah, yo. I, yeah, yeah, Old McDonald yeah. had a farm. <laughs> but oh yeah, my God, it will it be smells. available March 24th on Steam. So if you have been looking for new official Neverwinter Nights content, this is one of the uh, it's, things. It's, 
it seems pretty anemic though, because it goes from levels five to eight, and that's pretty shallow for like a never. It's like a ten hour content, according that, to that, um, that, that, that. That's what that's what they say. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I did I did a little bit of reading into it. Um, apparently, it's supposed to intersect with uh, Descent into Avernus, which is the latest like tabletop published module for D anD. d So I think that might be a little interesting if you're like me and you read or play adventures and you kind of want to like pick out all the Easter eggs and be like, uh, actually, Bell is no longer the ruler of the layer of Avernus it's Zariel but um I don't know by god that's the <laughs> cure for COVID it, it, it could very yeah, well stay be stay home learn Dungeons and Dragons oh, god. you just saved humanity <laughs> burn him take two um, yeah. check this out man there's been an update because somebody's got something in their front pocket for you and it's Linux support. <laughs> Screaming. Yeah, uh, update cars. not 57. Uh, pocket cars, not quite Rocket League, gets a, nope. gets a Linux version. Um, it's it's like a it's combat. It's really distinguishable. Revolt. Actually, it looks very, very good. Like, hmm. Oh, yeah. It, 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 look, it looks like some UE4 stuff. They, they, they put a little bit of effort into it. Oh, yeah. Some... It's like they remade the uh, Wild West uh, level from Revolt in UE4, and I really hope that that's the case because I really liked Revolt back in the day. But so you I've do been like looking for something. control of combat racing, and that's what I, this I says do. it's it, going to deliver. It, it... It, it's basically it's basically tux card, but with like rocket cars. So with more rockets and uh... yes, <laughs> you, you you can grab it for about sixteen bucks Canadian. Um, Thirteen ninety nine. It is early access. US. So big warning. Single yeah. player though. So but... <sighs> there, I yeah. instantaneously just lost any and all interest <laughs> in buying this. And I'm not saying that for any other reason than I. We'll continue saying that because we're, you, you need to fill the void of Rocket League. Maybe, maybe at this time, developers, it might be a good idea to focus on the fact that people can't really sometimes even legally get together in groups right now. Yes. Right. And you, you know what? I'm I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of software developers and game designers who are like, hey, now that you can't play Rocket League on those two operating systems, maybe we can slip on in and get some gameplay. Mm -hmm. Right. You you can be our sidecar. <sighs> Absolutely. Yeah. Our hot mm. sidecar. Mm. Get us out of here, baby. All right. Coming up next, we find out if NVIDIA can share its rage use with the other people. And AMD's hiring, but not for the thing that you want them to be hiring. Uh, uh, I'm going to rub a marker. If for some reason you are still using the Dewey Decimal System, How's your library doing? How's the uh, current health Three situation in the fuck world? Um, what? <laughs> how's what the would we be categorized under uh, the Dewey Decimal situation? System? Okay. Well, all right, all right, uh, hang you on. could real try. talk. Real talk. Does anyone remember how to use that? Oh fuck hell no. no. Okay. <laughs> I, I, As you, I were. have a faint <laughs> idea of what it is, but uh, no. Uh, what we're doing here is basically shilling ourselves out to you because. Um, if you have any sort because of awesome, spare man. change, uh, you can toss it our way, and yeah, we'll very much appreciate it. Much like the Dewey Decimal System, Pedro has lost this point. You can support us by heading <laughs> yes. on over to LinuxGameCast.com, uh, mousing over the support button, and clicking one that's of the it, various that's links all I following nope, nope, up. Uh, nope, I quit listening after you said mouse over. I'm like, I'm done. My support that's is over. complete. Yes. <laughs> well, Too good long for you. Didn't hear. For, for the rest of you who are listening... <laughs> Maybe follow some of these links, enter your credit card number afterwards. Uh, you can check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash Yes, That's a cool way to support Dude. us because you get a bunch of cool stuff. In addition to just making you making yourself feel good for helping us out, you get, the feel you get good, access. Man. Yeah, you, you get access to our show notes. You get, you get the to feels? our Discord channel. I, I get the feels. I, I have a feel. Oh, you and only it's do gassy. <laughs> I feel gassy. Um, Put it in glitter. Never. Damn it. <laughs> Not until they remove that eight ball sized <laughs> chunk of glitter from my large intestine. <laughs> the queen glitter. <laughs> the, it's, it's like the Xenomorph that just kids. bursts out of my chest. <laughs> and it's <laughs> fabulous. It, oh, yeah. It's raining, men starts playing. Yeah, uh, Patreon. You get <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm thinking you get about filming this now. I'm just like, how do we set this shot up? 
And it's just it's the glitter infects everyone. They run out screaming, discovered in yeah, melting. Yeah, yeah. into a bu- into a musical number. It's oh, great. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, if you, if you become a Patreon, you mm. also get access to the pre pre super shows, in which you can show up here an hour earlier for some extra Linux game cast goodness. Mm. Or if you miss it, you can get a recording of it in your own little Podcast custom format, RSS feed. Baby. It's pretty great. We still have the video version of it. When I can do it. When you can sometimes, sometimes. we even do it live, <laughs> live video. It it depends on what I'm playing with in the studio, trying to get it set up. So fair, when fair. available, so always the when, when when available. Uh, we, <laughs> what was I doing? We got we got a store store at Oh shit! Buy yeah. buy yourself some uh, t-shirts, some mouse pads, some stickers. Put them over your nipples. No glitter. Uh, yet. <laughs> yes. LGC glitter glitter Son, coming I soon. I said no glitter. I've already checked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, we we might have to go to another supplier, but I think we can do it. Okay. Uh, we we need we at least need the sparkly booty shorts. Glitter chairs, uh, twenty twenty one. Wishlist. We got uh, Amazon wishlist. You yeah, can help do. us build the studio, and if you do, you can send us a little note. We have to read it on the on the stream, and then your name gets to go up in smelly, delicious markers on the wall behind Ven. Look at that. I even found my, the Pedro said they look good, so I know they're. <laughs> the, those if they didn't have like the red outside it they'd be fine man i was looking it's like do they make sub 500 hundred dollar headphones that actually have a multi-mode on them and like yeah they do oh yeah of course they do and they're they look like that no yes um <laughs> it's like if they were all silver or silver and black that'd be fine but hey, no, one right? thing i want to give a mention now <laughs> we were talking about sparkly not vampires it was sparkly yes i tested this that's uh that'll be up for patrons on monday because i took the ebay challenge i wanted to see exactly what i would get for six dollars that's shipping included for a usb to midi connector so you can uh, view my adventures with that nonsense um and that'll go for everyone else in uh, about a week but go ahead and take a sneak peek at that we got we got some people to thank too. Uh, we got to thank Christian, who's our one. newest patron. Hi, Christian. Thanks a lot. Oh. And Miss Mr. John Wiggy <laughs> Wiggyless Wiggy 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 Wiggy, Wiggy, Wiggy. Uh, for sending uh, then a pr- well. I mean, you can you can get uh, hot dog smelling with it, dude. This, this is legit solder Chan because it says Chan on it. <laughs> this Bernie Chan, hot pokey Chan. <laughs> it's also a digital soldering iron. So for the audio listeners, uh, these are cool. These are very affordable and. Uh, they're programmable. I mean, if you want to do some weird stuff with them, I just wanted something in here in the studio instead of like dragging everything out to the garage where my source station is. And this does it. It is the business. Even uh, Lewis Rosman. Is it Rosman or Rodman? Ross. Lewis Ross. No, I, I want to see Lewis Rodman. It's Rodman. him and Dennis Rodman doing <laughs> yes. the fusion dance. Half all, man, half Flying solder. all the way to North Korea. Brought to you by That's Apple. That's a porn actor name if I ever Dude. heard one, but yes. <laughs> That's awesome of you, John. So we got to put you on the Find Upstanding Cannibal Wall. So if you guys will provide Ooh. background. Ba, ba, da, oh, legendary music. Ba, ba, Prepare yourselves. Ba, ba, <laughs> <laughs> Linux Nuru is going on the, um, <laughs> on the glare wall. Yep. It's so <laughs> shiny, I can't see what it says. It's blinding. <laughs> it's blinding me with science. Is it G in U R U? Gnu Ru. U R U. Why did you keep talking? I had it in my brain. G in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Uru, the sequel to Mist. <laughs> well, the sequel to Riven. <laughs> well, it's just also a sequel to Mist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right we there. did it so whoever gets down on this side short name i'm just saying yeah yes all right <laughs> bill all right now sp- speaking speaking of god rays um nvidia has some for us oh yeah <laughs> go ahead and trace them vulcan driver support because you know say what you want and rightfully so about nvidia on a lot of things their linux support and their drivers are not something that you can hate on at all um because we talked about last week there was a bump in the vulcan spec might have been a week before that they're already in the Vulcan beta drivers. They got some new hotness out. This is a 1.2 spec is now in the beta drivers. I mean, it supports all the hotness, all the new stuff. Is there anything in here that's going to mesmerize us so that we're actually going to be able to well, play with? Well, I'm not really, no. Um, Ray tracing. But 
there there is there is ray tracing and it's the uh chronos ray tracing it's not the nvidia one as well so standard space ray tracing is good it's gonna it's not i mean it's not gonna keep nvidia from doing their sketchy proprietary extension stuff but at least it will help level the playing field because we know how nvidia loves to just bury shit in hardware and then say oh our drivers are so much faster no they're not our hardware is so much faster because it's specialized to do these crappy things the general mm -hmm. i mean the generalized stuff had to come out because that well not necessarily for nvidia but we knew we were gonna get a standard for vulcan because of xbox even though what do we think about this did you see that microsoft's like uh dx12 ultimate i think it's like something like that is the oh yeah the best yeah best that's exactly what it is of dx12 <laughs> and they're like target this guys come on it'll work on xbox and Windows 10. We basically just copied the Vulkan 1.1 specification and call it DX12 Ultimate. But it totally runs on, on two guys. things. Listen, man, nobody, <laughs> nobody's going to buy a PS5. Nobody's <laughs> buying Switches. Don't worry about it, man. Those Linux people are like, no, yeah, man, come yeah. on. DX12, yeah. bro. Yeah. No. I'm glad this is there, and I'm glad to see standards. Like Jordan said, you know, NVIDIA did have, you know, we Quake 2 is our ray tracing Vulcan experience that I am mind melting 40 to 43 FIRPS that I can get on my 2060. It's kind of brilliant. 15, 15, Ooh, 15. Dude, that's because you rocking yeah, that 27 fast FPS, 1080 Ti. Um, yeah. 720p with mm. everything on the lowest possible settings. <laughs> <laughs> um, to NVIDIA's credit, though, they did put the hardware in there. And, you know, this is something we were testing a year ago with NVIDIA, but it's glad, you know, I'm glad that we're going to have a general thing that just can be targeted. But on the other hand, I don't fucking care about Because I, I said this when Jensen was showing it off. It's like, if you have to point out the new thing, it's... And not, if you have to really repeat the words, it just works... It's not even that. It man. probably doesn't. When the, I say the, point the, out, <laughs> if I can't see the difference without the red arrow. <laughs> so the, the 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 other the other nice thing here is that um, because now there's a standard based version that's supported. Hopefully, Dixvix can start implementing ray tracing functionality because they because they emulate a Radeon card mm -hmm. for the for the purposes of just passing hardware validation and stuff like that. So it is brilliant. hopefully. Hopefully, we'll get some ray tracing options for some games. Hey, and we can Mix. use them on our new um, AMD GPU no, drive. No, you can't. Wait, oh. That's not... Well, you, I mean, maybe. But you maybe. promised. I'm no more glitter for you. <laughs> Never. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, man. We got to think about this because AMD is hiring. This is from Tech Radar. Everything's going to be in our show notes. They say AMD looks to court Linux gamers. Hey, man, I, I like this headline. I like worth making its GPU driver even better. Lead Linux kernel developer. Lead as an A, singular, one, just uno. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're looking to hire this person to work with AMD GPU drivers. Now, uh, the writer for Tech Radar is like, yo, this is totally going to be uh, something that's going to trickle down to the gaming GPUs, like 5700 and whatever comes with Big Navi. To which, you know, I, I don't want to be the negative necromancer but amd just split their gpu stack man um, this person is going to be hired to work on cdna which is going to be their compute offerings when you think of nvidia you think about volta the ones with displays on the back of them this is what amd is going to be doing with that in now when you're talking about our dna you know the, because up until now they've had to cram both parts on the same pcb so it's going to free up some space. You know, it's going to be a good thing for our DNA. This I don't necessarily see uh, really helping gaming. Am I wrong, Pedro? I'm wrong, aren't I? And no, and uh, oh, I come on, man, this. soften the blow a little bit. Jeez. <laughs> no, I mentioned this on Wednesday, but yeah, no. Um, AMD GPUs have been. They've had a very good reputation when it comes to OpenCL performance. That's the cards that everyone was using to mine back in the day. So. It makes sense now that they have a dedicated compute branch of the Radeon Technologies Group that, yeah, you, you kind of have Linux. You kind of have fast, to have furious. Linux at that point, yeah. So, I, I mean, 
the the other thing is depending on how it's actually implemented in like Mesa, there could actually be some performance gains seen on the gaming GPU side. We don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't know what they're what yes. they're going to be doing. We haven't seen those pull requests yet. We have, they haven't really released any sort of documentation to the Mesa project, at least publicly that. Um, that we would be able to sort of speculate on that. So I, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's good. They, here, here is a thing they need to actually invest in Linux because okay. if they're going for enterprise GPU, yeah. then, you know, what, what are these supercomputers running? It's not windows. No. Oh. Yeah. But they know that because you do, know, you don't think about Stadia. Yeah. That, that's on GPU side. That's all going to be running on AMD. I want to live in this world to where, you know, an AMD card comes out and within the first week, I have my Linux drivers and I'm ready to go and I can play games where we can finally put to rest the whole, well, you know, if you buy an AMD card, it will get faster and possibly work at the end of a year. That That is, well, that is kind of the perils of the monokernel. still get faster. <laughs> yeah, but I, no, I, I agree that uh, if you buy, say, like the 5800 or the 5900 or whatever they end up calling the new Navis, it's like, it's the same architecture, so there's no reason as to why it wouldn't work out of the box. AMD, but here's some free marketing. The, All right, the big Navi <laughs> have one called Hey and the other one called Listen. See, when I think of, when you say big Navi, I just think of like this giant ball of light that's going like, Hey, Fee, listen. Fi, fo, hey, fairy. Listen. listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Uh, All right. So, something that didn't make the cut into the new Proton, it's um, DixVix 1.6. It rhymes. Uh, they, so uh, Deutsche Gen has uh, changed how the D3D10 uh, helper libraries um, are used. And D3D10 DLL and D3D10 underscore 1 DLL are no longer used by default. Basically, all of that is handled by D3D10 core and D3D11. That's all you need for uh, DixVix to support uh, DirectX 10 in Proton. So that that's it. Uh, uh, and the, 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 the nice thing about that too is apparently now you can use the DX10 implementation in uh, DixVix it, alongside yep. uh, the framework for in that's already built into Wine, which should help a couple games actually you know, run. Yeah. Yep. And they have a bunch of bug fixes and improvements, including some game specific ones like Hat in Time. Uh, you can now uh, actually change resolutions without it scaling weirdly. And the, the what about Dragon's Dogma, which is like, oh, fix full screen issues. I've been playing Dragon's Dogma full screen for a while, basically since um, even before uh, D9 Vix was uh, implemented into Dix Vix. I didn't see any issues. Damn, son. What have you like installed like three arches? I... No, I, I know I'm pulling a strider here, but what issues? <laughs> oh, no, you're no. not, because I was just screeching in madness with strider last night about Pop OS. The, uh, <laughs> the, 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 thing, the thing that stood out for me was apparently in with that space, they fixed the black square artifacts. And I thought for a second, wait, isn't the black square artifacts what actually cause all the zombies to show up in Leopard <laughs> or in Dead Space? No. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, Vulcan Basalt. VK Basalt. It's a Vulcan post-processing layer. It'll get your ass banned on Steam if you yeah, try well. to use it with a multiplayer game. But they got mm -hmm. a new version out. It's Clean Toad. You can now toggle the HUD with the home key, which is, or the not the HUD, the effects, which is handy if you want to like shut them off real quickly before you get back banned. Uh, and you can control the logger output now, which is nice if you need to figure out why you got back back banned. Uh, there are still a bunch of issues with the AMD VLK Pro drivers, but you shouldn't be gaming on those. Those are for like OpenCL and like doing actual compute work. Dude, they yeah. even get one for Gentoo, man. It's like Arch, of course, Fedora, and good on Gentoo. Mm, nice. Mm -hmm. um, we'll and just build it. No Ubuntu. It's like they went out of their way to not mention any Ubuntu build instructions at well, all. Oh, no, you, with, with Ubuntu, you just use Lutris. <laughs> Well, uh, with Ubuntu, if you have 18.04 or anything that's based in 18.04, hi, Neon. I'm using it right now. Um, it, no joy, because you need Vulkan validation layers in order to get this to work, and there are no Vulkan validation layers for 18.04. Mm. So, meh. <laughs> I'll stick to running Debian. Um, yes. <laughs> Mango Hut. Good news, everyone. 
Yeah, new version of Mango Hut. This is one has now the added benefit of drum roll working. Yes, oh. uh, it working not just with Vulcan games like it did in the past. Now it also supports GL. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it supports Glide. What about Glide Two? But does it support does it support DirectX Twelve, which is the future? DX Glide. <laughs> OpenGL and OpenGL 32-bit is, uh, well, they're the new uh, bits uh, that it supports, which is really nice, uh, especially OpenGL 32-bit. If you happen to have any really old 32-bit games, well, they don't have to be really old, let's be honest, but um, all those older games that are 32-bit only and you wanted to have any kind of overlay on it like mango hud you can upload see. logs with it you yeah, can if you, you can if you uh, run into it. errors yeah yep. oh no this gives you performance logs baby oh shit oh ah, yep. that's next level uh, they actually give you frame times and average frame rates and mango hud is actually a very 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 nice uh bit of kit so now you can actually use it with all the games not just Proton and the few Vulcan titles that we have currently available natively. It is highly so, customizable, man. I played around with it and everything worked. Now, the previous version, release version, not sure right, there it is. You can put it in the upper left hand corner or right corner down. You can make it big. You can make it not so big. It Hashtag looks like Snowman. MSI Afterburner. That's the point. Dude, <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is, so I'll live. Uh, <laughs> I'll, it, go, go through the um, instructions and, you know, you download a little SH and it's like, oh, just run this. Like, that's not doing anything. Why, why is it not doing anything? Open up the SH. Oh, right. SH dot SH space install. Give it that command. That helps out. Might want to update that. <laughs> uh, but you can run it like on a per game instance. And you can run it with a Steam overlay if you want to do that. On top of like a DXVK overlay, then it's going to get really confusing. I thought about just irritating <laughs> some people Friday. I was like, how much crap can I get on the screen at one time? <laughs> It and, and then run it through basalt. Don't don't enable all in the CPU cores if you have like twenty four of them. <laughs> but what what happens then? It just then? goes all yeah, the way down the screen. Way down the screen. <laughs> like, okay, but you have to do it at least once. And uh, hey, man, it works. I tried it with a. You no, know, it can be hit or miss. Like I noticed, it doesn't work with Left for Brad. It's like ah, uh -huh. but you know, mm. I tried it with the uh, speed runners and uh, Black Mesa. And I was like, hey, man, I'm here. Oh, so it's not a, it's not a source thing, huh? It, it it's weird, man. Hmm. It's weird, but it's probably got something to do with the uh, toggle. Two G L. Yeah, for, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when are we gonna get some Vulcan for Left for Brad, man? Left for Brad three, the Vulcaning. Left left for um. <laughs> Ah, uh, and uh, left, left, left for DX twelve. No, that's dude. that's the next game. Oh man, spark it out. One last little bit we need to talk about because now I do want to mention uh, if you don't follow me on social media, I went ahead and threw the uh, Tomb Raider 2013 and Tomb Raider, another multiplayer game, it is completely free on Steam. Just mm -hmm. you'll find them. But not to be left out, GOG has a stay at home and play some games thing, free games from GOG that will help you relax and pass time at home, like alcohol. A uh, couple of Linux <laughs> titles in here, man. You have um, Aclabeth, uh, World of Doom. You got Beneath a Steel Sky, Biometis, Caden, Echelon. What else do we have? Jill of the, the Jungle, Queen. Legend of yeah. Keeper, uh, Lure of Temp Temptress, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Overload, yes. Postal. Basically, the all of the um, Shadow Box Warrior ones. Classic Complete, Star Gunner, um, well, what, what, Sunrider. What's, what's, what's interesting about. Uh, Beneath the Steel Sky and Lure of the Temptress is that they both actually ship with scum on Fedora. So if you just install scum, you get those for free. Oh, nice. um, <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 good that they're putting some stuff out there. You can probably run most of this on Lutris as well if you can't get the you Linux can. versions running. I noticed and yeah. when I added this in. I like, Wait a minute, I always have this shock. I have 94 games on GOG. Mostly yeah, because like of this. Connect. God connect. Yeah. yeah, Connect. <laughs> it just amazes me because I never go to God because you don't have a client on Linux and you don't want me to give you money. And I'm not. I'm just saying that as somebody who's definitely spent over a grand on Steam. Easy. This year. Yep. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Judging as much as possible in three, two, two one. one. Judge. All right, coming up next, 
Someone watched Death Race and made a video game about it. We're throwing chairs at Bloody Rally Show. Hot. I just peed in my pants. Fine. Welcome back to the chair position. <laughs> the cues must survive trial. That's not Stop where Dora. my pinky is. Damn it. Go. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where the accused must survive trial by Fedora. I would like everyone around to know I was pressing the hell out of that button, too. It just wasn't working. I'm sure you were. <laughs> though we, we, we can only ask the question if it's fun after we do all that crap. No. Uh, this week, we're taking a look at Bloody Rally Show. It's developed by Kodo Linija. Uh, it's done on Unity. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks. What is a Bloody Rally show? It's a dystopian roguelite combat racing game with infinite variety of racetracks, campaigns, missions, leaderboards, daily challenges, <gasps> track editors, car editors, car tuning, customization, car battles, and multiple game modes, including one where you are a pedestrian, but no online multiplayer. Mm -hmm. uh, devs did send us keys. Thanks a lot, Mr. Kodo Linija. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering your name. Sue me. Uh, <laughs> let, let's, let's get into it. Ven, how to work on Debian. Dude, um, over here on Debian 10 land, uh, running with Threadripper 1920X through 2 gigs of RAM, um, NVIDIA 2060, latest drivers, latest Vulkan drivers, actually. Launches out of the box. I mean, technically, that's the good things I can say about this game. I mean, no issues whatsoever. I mean, it holds a solid 60 at 2160p, uh, like up until like the third set of races, so about 8, 12 tracks in. Then you start getting a couple of hiccups. Out of the box, I tested it with the X-Clone controller, the wireless, no problems. PS4, when the X-Clone died on me for unrelated issues, that worked at the same time. I just powered up PS4 controller. Hey, it started working. Uh, it does make a bit of noise with the audio, but I wasn't a big fan of it. I kind of noped the headsets after a few minutes because I was listening to something else. I felt more entertaining. Now, let's talk about the fun. I don't know what I expected from Top Town Combat Racing. It is racing, maybe. It's also more of a drifting contest. You know, not that it really matters with this camera. I see Pedro's got his fixed. Because um, yes. by default, that camera is <laughs> zooming in, out, up, down, left, right, near, far. It adds a layer of challenge to it. You know, I know. As Pedro is showing in his video there, you do have a few crude settings in the option menu. But that's kind of something I think you should be able to adjust on the fly when you do need it and don't need it. And um, just for fun, let me see if I can pull... For the video listeners out there, I want you to take a look. There's your minimap. You see that? <laughs> you see that? You only get that little partial minimap. And like, why is that a problem then? You'll learn the procedurally generated tracks. That's the problem. So you, you know when a turn's coming up when you're turning. And that's very important in this game because it's you're just sliding around on ice the entire time. Now, uh... An hour in, and I'm still not 100% exactly how I get weapons. I know what to do when I receive them, but I'm like, oh, look, I got a weapon now. Uh, I did figure out that killing gets extra nitro. I put that to good use. Now, they, you know, tracks being generated, you do have to wait a minute for that. And they are random, and it kind of shows, because they're blazingly mild variations of the same basic circuit. But I did. I did find a small amount of entertainment sliding around, slaughtering people, but I can't say that I got 20 bucks out of it because uh, I just didn't. But you know what? That's a good thing. The latest update. The latest update for this bit of kit is the developer said there will be a price reduction since he will no longer be working on it full time. And I guess he's right, man, because I didn't get to quote him the depth and breadth of this game. Also... What the fuck's up with your meme kitty popping up telling me about the tutorial? <laughs> 16 races in the game. I mean, like, well, I did think, you know that there's a tutorial? Dude, do you know that I, there's an option in the menus <laughs> to cut that fucker off? I'm like, couldn't you like have time that, you know, if I'm like 16 and it's like, hey, would you like to play the tutorial? No. And it's the little sad kitty. Uh, I don't like cats. So check this out. Uh, it, it's got a story. That's what we're looking at right now. And it's about a guy riding around on a hoverboard or something like that, man. I, it, it's a wee edgelord, that I, what I've read of it from my taste. But, you know, you do have 2D top-down combat racing, or at least the frameworks of one. And, you know, hey, man, maybe you're not going to work on it full-time. You're going to work on it part-time. Unsolicited advice from a guy wearing a wizard robe talking about Linux gaming on the internet, as one does. Make some real tracks. 
you know, make some real tracks that people can learn and make strategies around and have actual races. Uh, who was it who did procedural track generation? Uh, road, uh, the road rash people that uh, road, road redemption. redemption. No one like that. No one that's you want tracks that you can work with, especially of this next bullshit request is uh, get it online. Let's have this online because that it's like this would be kind of fun. When I first played, I'm like, oh, this would be neat. We can get Jordan Pedro, maybe the after show, we can get a gang of people and just slide around and murderate each other. But that's just not there. I think the core things, you know, with the game, we can get some online multi and for the love of God. Is this Unity, Pedro? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Don't use the default multiplayer thing in Unity, please. Um, also, I know I'm asking a lot. But yeah, as this thing stands, man, even I, I don't know what a price reduction is going to go. I couldn't recommend it. Uh, dude, I, I clearly tell that you put some work into it. I mean, this is not slapdash, but I don't know where it's at. And where it's at right now is not something I'm going to put a lot more time into. And so, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to say a hard pass on this one. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 31 64 bit, I was testing this on the TV box, so I was using the uh, 8150, uh, FX8150, and the uh, RX 580. Um, so it launches out of the box, holds 60 with it. Uh, the comic style for the interstitials is okay, but they probably could have used a little bit more polished. It looks a little kind of amateur y. And also, yeah, like Ven said, the writing. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for it. Uh, Areola controller worked out of the box as well. But uh, yeah, those those controls, man. So fun. Yeah, the the driving, I don't, at least for me, feels completely awful, especially with that default camera whipping around like it's Willow Smith. It's not great. If you change it to uh, floating, it helps a little bit. Um, but still, you end up whiffing around, whipping around, drifting a bunch, and the game starts giving you bonus objectives like assassinating people or running over mm -hmm. a snowman with with your drifting and i can i can see how You're this not could be sliding off the track for eight seconds <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm sliding off the track for eight seconds man it's oh into into trees into houses yeah uh i mean i can see how this could be the skeleton of a fun like death race -esque game but i'm not a fan of everything just being so slidey and you know like ven said where's where's the online multiplayer there's there's like a leaderboard so you can compete with your friend's high score but that's like not not fun for a lot of people but at least you figure you could squeeze some fun out by smashing into your friends or smashing your friends into some bystanders i don't know i'm gonna give it one chair yeah over here in neon land uh with the ryzen 730 700x and the gtx 1080 uh the last patch made the game freeze at times mid-race which what you're looking at right now was actually recorded on the previous version of the game but the latest one Whenever you're mid-race, and it's usually on the last lap, the game freezes for like a tenth of a second or half a second, and it's it throws you off. It does. But other than that, the performance is adequate. It's Unity, so it's like, oh, you have a 144 hertz monitor? I'm going to put it at 144. So it works. Well, I'm seeing uh, out some of the box, definite frame pacing issues in your video, too. So. Yes, uh, th there are a couple, uh, especially when the track first loads in, uh, it gets a bit chuggy, but uh, it, for the most part, it holds. And out of the box, it did work with the DualShock 4, and it let you rebind everything, so as far as the makes with the working goes, uh, n no issues. It, it, it absolutely does make with the working. However, admittedly, I was having a bit of fun for a while there. The driving feels fine, it's easy enough to sort of get in the zone and you just drift your way along the track and everything sort of kind of tends to go your way once you have that down. Until they start introducing the weird mutators like Jordan already mentioned, like the um, flat tires or the controls being reversed or you have to specifically do something. That I hated, uh, there was one particular race where they reversed left and right and that tied a knot in my brain to the point where I freaking hated it. So I suppose there's only so much you can do to keep the game varied, which is fair. But unfortunately, and for me personally, that little shit sprinkle uh, kind of ruined the fucking cake. Uh, and if you add the random freezing in the middle of a race, 
all I can do is a solid maybe. Two chairs. Well, there you go. It's kind of meh. I don't think it's worth the, the $20, but what, what are they dropping the price to? He didn't say. I was like, well, that's awfully didn't say, vague. Yeah, um, yeah I couldn't Dropping recommend the price buying it to $19. Right yeah, right. But hey, man, he, he put a thing in his update. He's like, I thought this was going to be a lot more popular than it was and didn't sell a lot of copies. So, you know, he's like, I, I enjoy making things and we're, we're going to keep on doing that. But yeah, so yeah, I mean, if it comes down to like 10 bucks or something like that and it gets if it gets some online multiplayer, yeah, then yeah. it's something people can get around, and like play around with. I think the focus was on, hey, man, this has got story. It's got all these other mechanics where I, uh, definitely Pedro and I walked in and was like, well, this is like a combat racing game. That's that's where I want my focus, not on anything mm-hmm. else. Because we're simple, simple, knuckle-dragging um, chair of thalls. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like chair of thalls, but falls. with more chairs. <laughs> All right. Mm. Coming up next, oh my gog, we find out what happened to the rest of the gog downloader. Oh no. Yeah, sorry, sticky fingers, giggity. Spin fingers. And as it turns out, we are still on YouTube. If you didn't get that reference, maybe you should watch us live. Ah, it's Let's me face fingers. It, you have plenty of time right now. <laughs> maybe, oh, dude, imagine Popeye, but he just ate fingers for strength. Isn't that just salad fingers? <laughs> just a can of fingers, like. <laughs> no, dude, he just like reaches out and noms him. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Ah, but well, yes, we're if looking you, at the picture. Uh, after... We're looking at the picture of Discord, and you see like a llama's head in the ocean. Like, hmm? Yeah, hmm? <laughs> yeah. If after all of this, you don't have anything to hate on us, what's wrong with you? Also, you're welcome. Uh, but if you do, chances are you could go to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form, and uh, well, speak your mind. Just let us know exactly what it was that we did to trigger you. We got some information there, man. If you're a developer, we got layout we audio have, equipment. Yes. If you want to send some shit my way for interfacing Linux, we got a big warning that tells you if you put the hyperlinks in our spam, Gollum will kick you squarely in the junk. And uh, make much. sure you pick the right show, including relationship yeah. advice. Yeah. You can ask Jordan for some relationship advice. Apparently it's working. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan's responsible for multiple divorces. <laughs> Those relationships were doomed to begin with. Don't blame I, that on me. I was just helping out, man. <laughs> he just accelerated the process. My work here is done. He just There's no some point in being a rela- in a relationship that makes you miserable. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Real relationships have fingers. You hear me, Nori? No point. <laughs> hey, I have fingers. Five of them. Five of them. <laughs> 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 All right. We, okay. Nope. Yep. We, 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 yep. We, 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 okay. We, we, we got we got some hate mail. Uh, this is from. Uh, God damn it! I had this open and then my brain farted. <laughs> this is from Verda Nuda, and uh, he says I had a bit of a start when you mentioned that Gog canceling a Linux downloader and panicked for a moment, but it does. As it is, I use another command line downloader, which has been proved very handy. It's called LG or Elgog Downloader. Original, huh? And it's on GitHub. I already gave the key dev probs for his work, and I encourage everyone to keep this sort of archiving of your digital purposes. As you know, this is becoming increasingly more pressing as more and more services start streaming. Stop giving out copies of games you can actually own. There's also a Humble Bundle downloader, too, which serves this much the same purpose, and I found it vital in keeping track of all the crap that I own through a zillion and one bundles I really shouldn't have not, or I should not have gotten, but did. Game keys are the worst to sort through. Anyways, there's the link. Great show, guys. Keep showing us you are smarter than the average beer. I take exception to that. We are less smart beer. than a Coors Life. Coors Light. <laughs> uh, nope. The Goblin King Coors is Life. smarter We're than done. I am. We're out. Coors Life. Coors it Life, maybe. Cold Coors <laughs> Life. Um, dude, I didn't even know about the Humble Bundle downloader. That that could be like, that's a good alternative, especially for like games that we bought for like older DOS titles or where we mm-hmm. just need the assets. Because we're living sure. that Coors life. Coors <laughs> life, man. Dr- Full drink and piss. Assets drink and piss. baby. That's, that's how you know you, you're you living the high life. I was life. going to ask, like, the Celtic pop musician group thingy. What? Keep, keep going. You've had too much Coors life. You know, high, Coors the life. Coors. Whatever. <laughs> he's, been, he's, been, he's been drinking. He's, he's sloshed on the life. Dude, too much I'm life. I'm gonna keep drinking. 
on that. <laughs> Legitimate bombshell. Let's cue the music. You can always find this nightmare train pulling off the rails at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Punch that into Google. It'll be like, sup fam? It'll tell you what time it is in your particular zone. If you're listening after the fact, podcast available everywhere. Video is on YouTube. Also, it's on uh, Twitch. If you are a subscriber that is there, we just watch us live when we're doing the nonsense, man. It's kind of brilliant. Oh, hang on. You can find me at <laughs> Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm there and just <laughs> at Vin on mast.linuxgamecast.com. Living my best Coors Light. Listen, I've I've been abstaining from the Coors Life and therefore have kept most of my mental faculties. I'm Jordan, and you can find me at the Burning Fool or Twitter, or just watch me idle around in <laughs> silence on Mastodon at Projo, mast.linuxgamecast.com. Yeah. Yeah, Jordan's managed to retain most of his uh, mental faculties, except for the ones that You've the uh, narrator wanted us to took care of. Yes, uh, I took so, care of them. Uh, all right. <laughs> If you'd like to uh, follow me for some reason, you can go on Twitter. It's at an accounted four with F O U uh, R because someone had already taken the number four. So, yeah. Well, I guess we know who wears the fingers in that family. Is it Mr. Fingers? <laughs> I'm just going to roll some credits, Ben. I'm not. Uh, Mr. That, fingers. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> It's all I'm doing. Uh, like it is boy. excruciatingly <laughs> simple. We kill Mr. Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and we shove his fingers up his butt. Oh, what was that? What was that guy's name? The red something? Yes, Menace. The red Menace. <laughs> hey, Patreons. We're going to thank our advisor, Haplo, executive we're producer. Haplo! Arthur and Mr. Foxdog, empty. empty. The Atomic, Atomic Ass. Ass. Mick G. Barbaramped. Alias. Alias. Not Haplo, because he's an advisor now. Oh, Mac Geek and somebody Scott. needs to update that, Ben. Frostclaw, drummer. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we got a couple dupes in here. We got double complete Haplo. It's only semi-automated. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Never. Uh, got to thank Dirty Dean, the Targos, Graves, and Colsta, Aldius. Again, I guess. Speaking of dupes, Sorceress, Vertnog, Kai Linux Cast, the Sildat, Kazgus, Linux Noob, the other Jordan, Douglas, Thomas, Jimmy Earl. Stall. Adrian. Gonzo 2000 and our newest Patreon, Christian. Christian. Also, Kim. Craig. Craig. The truth. Fucking he sent Craig. some hate mail. Go Craig figure. Christ. Yeah. Bell rig. Core, cold Coors Christ. They called Coors. <laughs> cold Coors life. That's how he got the second life. That's how Jesus <laughs> resurrected. Tons of Coors. twisters here at LTC Actual. Dying to fight. Oh, peace. Bye. <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs>